What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Octagon Jordan. I just got finished watching the UFC 303 press conference, and we had a huge revelation in the press conference. Ian Machado Gary accusing Michael Venom Page of trying to cheat, trying to infiltrate his camp, and get some details as to what Gary's been working on, how he's been looking, what uh, things are is he practicing, what's his strategy. Ian Gary brought this up. He's very adamant about this, uh, these accusations. He was very confident in saying these things. He was looking right at Michael Venom Page. He didn't stutter his words like Colby Covington. Uh, it was a clear, confident, stern, loud accusation of cheating. Uh, so I kind of want to dig into Michael Venom Page's response, whether or not he had a denial, how was the denial, was it strong, what words did he use, his body language. It'll tell us a lot if these are actually true accusations. And... Um, yeah, I mean, in my mind, MVP is a cheater. I saw what I needed to see uh, from that exchange there. It's uh, it's pretty clear. Um, so I kind of want to break it down in this video real quick. Like I said, the body language, the statement analysis of how MVP uh, denies these accusations, what words he uses, and uh, how his body language looks. So let's take a look right here, and let's digest this for a little bit. I'm still kind of in shock that this was exposed so easily by Ian Gary. Um, MVP's reaction to this was very telling as well and uh, yeah it's just very very telling about MVP as a person I'm not rooting for him I was rooting for Ian Gary going into this fight uh, but I liked MVP you know I liked his walkouts I like his flashy style but after hearing this and the way MVP reacted to it I mean the guy's a scumbag get him the fuck out of UFC uh, we can't have people like this in the organization doing these sketchy things behind the scenes so uh, I'm gonna shut up Let's just take a look right here at the exchange. Let's digest it. Let's analyze it. And let's dissect it. Everybody grab their drinks. This is a hot one, boys. This is going to be a big topic. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of videos about this exchange. Let's take a look. I think your success has necessitated all the confidence in the world. But to play devil's advocate, when you describe yourself as so much better than MVP, if you lose on Saturday, how do you pick yourself up promotionally, marketing? It's never, it's never a case. It's not in here. Look, I am so talented. This guy couldn't win a world title at Bellator and he's trying to come over here and he's trying to do something different. What he's doing in the UFC is trying to legitimize his career. I'm gonna put an end to his career on Saturday night. I'm gonna finish him and I'm gonna send him back to London. He's gonna be on. So that's one thing about Ian Gary that I've always respected, which I don't really, I, I never really understood this whole thing about fans hating Ian Gary. I really don't understand it. Because people think his wife is a whore, or he, he's a cuck, or his wife's ex-husband lives with them, or he took his wife's ex-husband's last name. Why does that make you hate somebody? I really don't understand that. Ian Gary brings energy to the press conferences, actually you know, creates animosity, creates a storyline with his opponents. He did it with Neil Magny, he did it with Jeff Neal, now he's doing it with MVP. He brings excitement, he's young. Uh, um, he talks well. This is the biggest highlight of the press conference. Everybody else is, mm, yeah, it's going to be a good fight. My, my, Myra Bueno Silva. I don't know her. I don't respect. I don't disrespect. I don't know her. <laughs> good answer, buddy. Why don't we ask fucking Dana White about unpackaging some sports cards again, whoever that fucking dweeb was. Ian Gary is confident, okay? He brings a different energy. I don't understand why people don't like him. Okay, he talks some shit on Neil Magny. I didn't realize Neil Magny was like this, you know, uh, perfect child that the MMA community just cradled so much and just held in their hearts with such, you know, reverence that Neil Magny is just, oh, that's our boy. That's like GSP, you know, you can't talk shit on GSP. We're going to come for you. I didn't realize Neil Magny was that type of guy. I thought Neil Magny was just a clinch fighter who everybody kind of fucking hated. Wearing Jeff Neal's mugshot on his shirt, that's funny. That's cool. We're still talking about it to this day. What what other fights about Jeff Neal other than the Shavkat fight are we still talking about? Zero. So don't get the hate for you, Gary. The man's confident. He's on his own. He's going to be in his head. I've already broke this man's confidence down so much. He knows I don't need to say what I'm talking about. Yeah, he does know. He's shaking his head. He's looking down. You, when you look down, it's a um, sign of not being confident. It's a sign of losing confidence. He's looking down. He's shaking his head. He's like, don't don't bring this up. Don't bring this up. Have you seen Ian Gary look down once and shake his head? Nope. About You know exactly what I'm on about. You're he's laughing. He's looking down again. He's shaking his head nodding. He's not grabbing the mic. He's not saying trash talk back. Self-confidence is fucked. You know what I'm talking about. So before Ian Gary accuses him of cheating flat out, let's let's 
keep a keep an open ear for MVP's reaction to this. So I've been, you know, I have a psychology bachelor's degree. It's not a master's degree, so I'm not a professional or anything like this. But I have an interest in body language statement analysis. I watch it. I study it. I look at a lot of YouTube videos. And the denial is a huge thing. If you're being accused of something, the denial should be short, sweet, to the point. Nope, that never happened. Or what are you talking about, psycho? I have no clue. Are, are you okay? Are all your marbles there, buddy? You got CTE from when Song Kanan dropped you? What the hell are you talking about, man? That's what I would say. No, dude, that never happened. You're talking yourself up, man. You're believing shit that ain't real. That never fucking happened. I have no clue what you're talking about. That would be the proper response. Or just, dude, you're off your rocker. That never happened. What are you talking about? If you say things like, uh, that's not the full story, or, uh, you're, you're crazy, man. Oh, um, not exactly, or... Here, let me tell you. Let me tell you what really happened. Things like these that aren't stern, that aren't direct. No, I did not do that. Did you cheat on your wife? If if you never cheated on your wife, what would you say? You say no. Why the what the fuck? Don't accuse me of that, dude. If you did cheat on your wife, you'd be like, "Look, I've been married to my wife for forty years. We've gone on many trips. We love each other. Okay, we have a family together. Do you really think I would do that?" Now, that's not a strong denial, is it? If you just said no, what? Why would you even bring that up, dude? I love my wife. Never would I do that. As opposed to saying, look, me and my wife, we've been strong for 30 plus years. We have kids together. Why on earth would anyone think I would do that? It's a little bit different. So let's keep an eye out for MVP's uh, denial here to Ian Machado Gary's accusations. And it will come out. It'll come out, kid. He's laughing. But your brain is fucking scurrying for excuses. <laughs> Yo, this guy is hilarious. Just remember. Do you want to say it or will I? Do you want to say it or will I? What am I talking about? Do you want to say it or will I? So Ian is very confident in what he's saying right now. He believes this wholeheartedly. He's not looking down. He's not whispering. His tone of voice is even stronger. He's direct. MVP's trying to change the subject, smiling it off, laughing it off. Ian really believes this, which makes me believe it. it. Tell the people. It. Did you and your team it. offer thousands it. of... He just asked him a question. Did you and your team offer thousands of dollars for information? He asked him a direct question. Dollars. Gonna hear it. They got information and shoot the box it. from my boys. You're Did you send it. someone a message You're and offer thousands... What's he saying? You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it. You're going to hear it. Thousands for information, and yet couldn't infiltrate the camp. You couldn't get into the work. The shoe the box family's too tight. Your little fucking rat jiu-jitsu coach, home on, offered money to one of my Brazilian friends, and yet... Look, he's laughing it off. If someone's accusing me of cheating, offering money to infiltrate a camp and get information, and that's being exposed on the worldwide stage of ESPN, UFC... I'm not going to be smiling. I'm going to be staring right back at him like, what? Dude, are you are you crazy? Are you off your rocker? Dude, that never happened. I don't know who that is. I didn't even realize you trained at shoot to box I don't give two shits about you, man. I'm working on myself. I wouldn't be like, ha, ha, ha. you're accusing me of cheating and offering thousands of dollars for information. <laughs> you're going to hear it. You're going to hear it. Look at his face. You got nothing. Saturday night, you're f- let's, let's see what. It, where's the denial? Does he say no? Fucked. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. That's his response. That's the denial. Anyway. Brushes it under the rug. Oh, let's just move on. This guy's crazy. He's just talking out his ass. Anyway. <laughs> Let's talk about my walkout again, Undertaker. (laughs) I'm going to get so creative with it. (laughs) All I know is... All I know is... Ian's like, oh, he tried to change the subject. One only MVP is him. All I know is you're going to be suspended after this. MVP's like, anyway, all I know is I'm going to sleep you Friday night. So if somebody asks you, 
or accuses you. You cheated on your wife when you went on that vacation, didn't you? I got messages. I got video footage, ring camera footage from the hotel. We saw you sitting there with the girl. Just, it's true, ain't it? And you go. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk. Let's talk about the weather, man. What? Do you, that's anyway. Anyway, uh, you know those NBA finals really sucked, huh? This is a high-level accusation. He cheated. He's spending money for information in a camp. This isn't like, oh, you know, you, you were greased. You were slippery as a snake. <laughs> anyway. I mean, what if he said you're on steroids? I know for a fact. I have pictures. I'm talking to your ex-teammates. They, they have pictures. And he goes, <laughs> anyway. What kind of denial is that? I'd be like, dude, what? You're trying to skew my name? You're trying to throw dirt on my name? No. You're a psycho. I don't need that shit. Bring up the receipts. Call him up right now. FaceTime his ass. Now at the You're UFC, never fighting again and I'm about to make fight. some noise. You and your jiu-jitsu coach are getting suspended for life. You can't understand. Yeah, he knows that to be true. All right, let's see what he says after Gary says you're being suspended for life. The one. Oh, oh. For a life. You're being suspended for a life. Where's my emergency on you? <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Only your MVP is here now at the UFC. You're never fighting again after this fight. I'm about to make some noise. You and your jiu-jitsu coach are getting suspended for life. Jiu-jitsu can't understand you, bro. Shut the fuck up. I'm the fuck down. So Ian Gary says you and your jiu-jitsu coach are being are going to be suspended for life after this fight. And he goes, "What? Are they? I don't even know. Is that we can't understand you, bro?" What is that response? And then he yells, he screams, shut the fuck up. I'm sure you do want him to shut the fuck up. That's why that was a genuine reaction. Genuine response to how Michael Venom Page is feeling right now. He's not smiling right now, is he? Seems a little pissed off that this was just exposed. Interesting. Man, I'm looking at him way differently than I was before. Hmm, maybe there was a reason this this cat was in Bellator. Hmm. Makes you think, don't it? Let's see if there's any more to this. All right. So. He's just trying to amp up the crowd. He's not pissed off that he was falsely accused of cheating. He's not saying, you're a liar. You're a liar. Pull up the receipts. You're a liar. Absolutely not. Why would I do that? Anyway. Just thought that was interesting. Wanted to dive deep, dig deep into that. And, uh, yeah, I lost all respect for MVP. Not sure why people hate on Ian Gary. The guy's confident. The guy brings excitement. The guy brings storylines. The guy brings memorable moments. He made this fucking press conference actually memorable, something I can make a video on. So let's let's start showing Ian Gary some fucking respect. Enough with the cuck stuff. Enough with this dumbass shit. I don't get why we're booing this guy. I really don't. But, anyway, MVP, you're a slime ball. Everybody... Enjoy the fights, June the 29th, and I'll wait, Mr. Chandler, two more nights, two more sleeps, we out.